We've got another major championship to look forward to this week as the best women in the game compete in the Chevron Championship. The major is being played at the club at Carlton Woods in the Houston suburbs for the second year after having moved from California prior to the 2023 tournament. Let's take a look at the major venues for the 2024 major season. Like you know, it kicks off at the Chevron Championship. The U.S. Women's Open is in Lancaster, PA. How about the KPMG Women's PGA Championship in Sahali? Up in Washington, a Mundi Evian Championship, familiar venue, and hard to top the AIG Women's Open, the old course at St. Andrews. And we have a friend of the show joining us now, Golf Week senior writer Beth Ann Nichols. Beth Ann, we got to start with world number one, Nellie Corder. We've seen the run that Scotty Scheffler has done with three wins in a four start span. Nellie Corda has four straight wins on the LPGA Tour, trying to make it five in a row at the Chevron Championship. How do you put this? into historical perspective? Well, when you look at all the folks who have done this before her, and <laughs> what she's doing right now, it's they're the greatest of all time. So, you know, she's the first American to win four of her first five starts since Kathy Whitworth. She's the first American to win four consecutive starts since Nancy Lopez. If she were to go on to win at the Chevron this week, she'd be one of only three players to win five consecutive starts on the LPGA, joining the great Nancy Lopez, who, of course, won five consecutive in that 1978 rookie season that was absolutely magical. And Annika Sorenstam, and, and she won those five tournaments over the stretch of, of two seasons, at the tail end of 2004 and the front of 2005. And that fifth title, of course, came at at the what's now the Chevron Championship. So, And she won handily, by the way, too. So, you know, it's, it's rarefied air, no matter how you look at it. Beth Ann, we've seen, uh, just coming off the Masters, the weapon that the caddy can be uh, for a champion. Like we just saw Scotty Scheffler and Ted Scott. What can you tell us about Nelly's caddy, Jason McDeed? Well, it's a little bit different than Ted Scott because it's been a short amount of time and you can see how Scotty skyrocketed. But with Jason McDeed, he's been with Nelly since the beginning of the 2018 season. So he's been alongside her for, you know, since she started winning on the LPGA, her first victory, one of 12, came that year. And they've really kind of grown together out there. She refers to him as as a big brother. He's he's married to, to Caroline Masson, a fellow LPGA player who they recently celebrated their birth of their their first child last year so you know they're they're learning out there and I love recently that she said that they they've, they've learned when to be conservative and when to be more aggressive which is extremely important when you get in so many of these you know uh, high stress situations that they're on the same page and when she hits a bad shot he's also really good at at, at giving her you know a, a good bit of encouragement he knows what to say and when to say it which I think is job number one about then, let's shift our focus to the defending champ, Lilia Vu, who's had some health issues recently. What's her status coming into this week with her title defense at the Chevron Championship? You know, it's been, it's been a disappointing season for Lilia because of this back injury that keeps flaring up that, you know, they're, they're still working on. I think it was probably wise for her to take off the match play and have a little bit of an extended break to work on that. Plus the, the weather conditions in Vegas were, were horrid. So maybe a good idea not to have some bad memories there, but, but, you know, Lily has admitted that she, she put too much pressure on herself trying to, to do what she did last year, which was win two majors and become LPJ player of the year and win four times. So, you know, that, that's a tough act to follow for any player. So she's really trying to focus on, on having fun out there. And of course being healthy. Beth Ann, do we like Lydia Ko's chances this week? <laughs> I don't I don't see how you can't like Lydia Ko's chances, even though she she hasn't really been much of a factor in the majors for for a long time. But but when you look at how she started the season uh, and, and the confidence that she has, you know, I, I definitely think that that she's one to watch. But it's interesting because I recently had a conversation with with Joanne Carner, who, of course, <laughs> a phenomenal American player. And she we were talking about Lydia, who only needs one more point to get into the Hall of Fame. And she said, you know, I gassed four tournaments when I just needed one more point. She <laughs> said it took me a long time to get over that hump. So I think that really helps us put into perspective how hard it is when you get so close to the finish line of getting those 27 points. You just need one more that even if the great Joanne Carner had a hard time crossing the finish line, that we can cut Lydia a little slack. <laughs>
Uh, Beth, then, speaking of crossing the finish line, the recent news, two-time major champion So Yun Yu announcing that she's going to retire following the Chevron Championship. Heck of a way to cap off what's been an incredible career. Absolutely. You know, I, when I think of Soyeon, I think of a first class everything, you know, not not only her golf game, but but just the way she carries herself, how she's interacted with with the press and fans for all these years. You know, she's she is a true pros pro. And I think at only 33 years old, I think that might shock a lot of people to see, you know, a former number one, two time major winner, you know, pack it in so early. But when you think about the fact that that she turned pro at 17, won a bunch on the Korean LPGA before she came over to America, she spent a long time away from her culture, away from her family. And, and if it's time for a next chapter in life, whether that's her career or or starting a family, you know, one can understand why why she'd want to go home to do that. So I'll, I'll be really interested to hear what she has to say this week about her decision. But uh, but, yeah, we're, we're sure going to miss Soyan. Yeah, for sure. Beth Ann, I appreciate your insight as always. And uh, looking forward to the season's first major on the LPGA Tour with the Chevron Championship. Thank you.